So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get through the new Cave D uh, rework and night is done is post patch 13 where they've reworked the complete Cave D and they've at relocated the rifle, the gold armor. They've added a mystery artifact and a multi trap blueprint. So I'm going to show you how to get all that stuff, all the new things and how to get through this pain in the ass cave uh, from entrance to exit. So, uh, anyways, before we get started, you will need the rebreather, which most people probably have, but I'll throw some links to uh, get that if you need that. So, let's get started. So, the entrance to Cave D is on the southeastern side of the island next to the big lake. Everybody probably, if you've been playing this game, know exactly where this is, but this is the entrance. And I'm just going to use a flashlight. They've recently... Uh, taken away in night has taken away the console command cave light so i'm going to use a flashlight and i have put torches strategically through to help me get through this so these torches will not be there for you of course but hopefully this allows you to better see um how to get through this darkness you to you could just throw on cave light and for video purposes, it made it a lot clearer. So first up will be the rifle. But we got a little ways to go. Also, I'm in God mode, so I only think I've been through here so many times, I think I've got killed everything, but I think there are we'll be, I will encounter two enemies in here. But I don't I don't want to get into a fight and get turned around, spin the camera all around. I'm just Going from point A to point B, collecting loot, and getting you the heck out of this pain in the ass cave. So now we're entering Darth Vader mode. Come on, get up that. So here you just kind of hang to the right. Just walk up. And then this is the rifle. I've already picked it up. And then be careful when you turn. You want to hang over to the right of side of the cave. If you don't, then you're going to end up going back to the entrance. Believe it it's actually fairly easy to get turned around right there, especially in dark with just a flashlight. Now you climb the rope. If I can climb the rope and not turn off the light. And usually I double time these videos. I'm purposely going in real time just to make it easier. Time to slide. Here we go. Point of no return. One thing to keep in mind is when you uh, get down here, there are some points if you can set up a tent, you can actually save. If you do not know that.
Here you want to hang kind of to the left. And... Through the hanging crosses. I'm just going to jump down. My guy can handle it. I'm your father. And we're getting close to the gold armor, believe it or not. At least I think. Keep my fingers crossed. left there it is so I've been here because the music's not playing and you can actually set a tent around here as you can see I've got one sitting down I've already chopped off the uh, wooden rear deck there solid spaceship design I've already got the golden armor so that probably just fell on the ground God, that's loud. So now we're going to make our way up this ledge, and we're looking for a rope. And this, for me, was kind of hard in the dark, so... I think I got mesmerized by this uh, zapping lightning bolt thing in my jig. So this, uh, I don't have a torch set up, but here's your rope. And we will uh, start climbing. And up again we go. Next, uh, another rope. Um, yeah, next on the list is the mystery artifact. Yeah, this is long. No, that's not the long rope. Darth Vader mode again. I think I burned a whole tank of oxygen there. Oh shit, demon. Ow. Oh yeah. This part sucked. But I got the to the rope. <laughs> Don't pick up the skull. Rope. There you go. The demon was peppering me on the previous try. So that thing, yeah, this is the long rope, man. 
Should have took my rebreather off. It's got to be a workout on the old arms. Whoa, bats! What are you doing up here? Okay. Another duck. Another rope. Oh, another slide. Okay. So if you enter from this side, then that would prevent you from going up, obviously. What is that? Oh, just a skeleton hanging. Okay, so over here, you're going to kind of go to the right. And then make your way left to this little stairwell. Rocks. Uh, <laughs> I put that torch there because I uh, kept trying to jump that damn rocks for some reason. I thought I could make it, but... Didn't work out. Through stalagmite and stalactite city. Three more skeletons, three more crosses. I swear there's a mystery artifact coming up. Here we go. So, uh, up this little rock structure here. This is the way that I take. I get this first. Get out of my way, Rock. Uh, there we go. So I can pick that up. Ha ha ha. Piece of candy. Now, I like to drop off of this little ledge here. But I do not go forward yet. Go to the hang a left. And there's a little room over here. With the blueprint to the multi-trap. Mm-hmm. Looks good. So now we can continue through this little golden hallway. And that's all the loot. Uh, yeah, that's all the loot. So now we're just uh, making our way to the end, uh, to the exit of the cave. I'll go ahead. I'll stay on. It's kind of... Kind of got used to this cave. It was like home. Uh, to the left is just some rope, different garbage you can pick up. Nothing. Oh, mutant baby. Get away from me. One more swim. This one is kind of a pain in the ass. Like when you get right in here, you kind of got to kind of got to work it getting through here. All right. Uh, uh. You got to shake it. Shake and bake. <laughs> Up we go. And when I come up here, there should be a dude sitting on a chair. And there's more rope in the background, but I think that's where the night goggles, night vision goggles used to be. So here we go. Here is the exit, and we're done. You have successfully navigated Cave D. Anyways, hopefully this helps you guys out. As always, thank you for watching, and hope to catch you in the next video.